You ever wonder why scientists don't use carbon dating to figure out how old a piece of wood is? Well, here's one reason. When you burn wood, like in a fire, the carbon in the wood reacts with the oxygen in the air to form carbon dioxide. And that carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere where it's basically lost forever. So if you try to date a piece of wood that's been burned, you won't be able to get an accurate result because all of the carbon in the sample will be the same age. But there's another problem. Plants absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere when they're growing. And if you're trying to date a piece of wood, bone, or shell, that carbon is going to be the same age as the plant that absorbed it, not the animal that ate it. So scientists use different methods to date different things. For bones and shells, they use nitrogen dating. For rocks, they use potassium argon dating. And for fossils, they use a technique called radiocarbon dating, which doesn't involve carbon at all. It's based on the amount of a radioactive isotope of nitrogen called N14 in the sample. Methane gas is great at preserving the ancient DNA found in fossils. So if you want to learn more about the history of life on Earth, stay tuned for more information.